Do you have a book burning inside of you? We'll talk about the right and the wrong way to use that book when building your big idea into a successful business model. All that and more in today's edition of Vision of Success TV. Hi, Lori here with Vision of Success TV. Today I want to talk to you about the possibilities of developing your own book. Now every single year in the US, 300,000 people decide to write a book and get it published. And if you look across the world, you'll find statistics very similar. In the UK, over 150,000 people are writing books. Australia is over 10,000. Canada, over 20,000. And if we look at the world as a whole, over 2 million books are published every single year. Now that's a lot of books. And it comes to a lot of books when you both have hard copy version and also when we look at Kindles and things like that, when we have all the eBooks that are coming out now, we have even more potential out there than ever before to create a book and to get it out there to the world. Now with over 2 million books being written and published every single year, what does that mean to the average person like you or me? Yes, we have a shot at getting to the New York Times bestseller list or all the other bestseller lists that exist out there, but again, it's almost a one in a million shot, right? If you've ever looked at the bestseller list, you know that the same people appear at the top of those lists time after time after time, and with good reason. Once you've set that in place, once you are recognized as a leader in the author field, you keep producing books and you keep raising to the top of those lists. But for people like you and me that are just starting out with our big ideas, we have these businesses that we're trying to build, and maybe books, writing an actual book is not the overall focus of what we want to do. We want to do a lot more, but we know a book is important. So how do we approach it from that angle? What does a book mean to us? Now maybe you have an idea right now and you haven't started down the road to entrepreneurship, but you know you want to write a book. You have this information, something deep inside that you know needs to be written about from your perspective that you want to share with the world, and that's great. I've done that a number of times. I have a number of books that exist out there, uh, both in hard copy format as well in Kindle version and you know all the other electronic formats that exist out there. But what you and I need to do with an actual book format is not hope to get to the bestseller list. Instead, what you look for when you're developing your own book is a business card. A book is nothing more than your entrance into the world. It's a way of saying, you know what, I have expertise and this is how I'm going to show it. I have a book in my mind, I have some, a lot of information that is great, and I need to put it into place. I need to put it into some format that I can hand off to people, that I can give people, and make them aware of who I am and what I do. So it's not something you know that charging five, ten, fifteen dollars for is going to make you a multimillionaire overall. It's just not going to happen. But what it can do is open doors for you. So you can use a book in a variety of ways. You can use it to connect with like-minded people so that maybe you can be uh, creating classes and networking opportunities for people together. Or maybe you can even be using it to share and, and to provide information just so that they have some way of getting to know you on a very small basis. Because in a lot of ways, people don't want to jump right in. They don't want to jump right in and spend you know, hundreds or even thousands of dollars with someone that they just found out about, that they've just heard of. In that case, where it benefits you is to you know, create something like this, where for $5, 10 15 $20, something very low, they can get their initial reaction to you. And especially if you're using it as a business card, as a calling card, in order to break the ice, in order to prove your expertise, and get in front of the people that will eventually become clients. Now that's how I've used my own books that I've created over the years, is I use it as an entry point so that people understand who I am and what I'm about. They can get their feet wet by reading something uh, very simple, to, you know, with very low pay, and in a lot of cases, you know, I may even hand it over to a potential client and let them read through it so that they learn a little bit more about me. At that point, once you have your book in place, once people trust you, once they read you, then you can develop other programs. Uh, like my Visionary and You program was created with a lot of that in mind to help people create their big ideas, understand what that means in the, the 
building their business process and how they can turn that into something more to a successful business not just something that you know that is going to make you you know a few hundred or a few thousand dollars down the road but something that can actually create a very strong and very healthy business now and well into the future for the next few years as you generate more and more potential so if you want to write a book great idea I love it absolutely think it's a phenomenal way of getting your experience getting your exposure down on paper and having a calling card to bring with you to showcase who you are and what you're all about if you like this tip and want a lot more tips just like it join me here every week I create a new video just like this one every single week sign up for this and for my newsletter and you'll be sure to get the latest tips that can help you turn your big idea into a very successful business. See you next time.